chess is more than a game, it's strategy, it's intelligence, it's friendship. Welcome to my world, welcome to my channel. The game has just begun. Hi chess friends, I'm here to show you this beautiful game that was played by Anish Kiri against Maxim Rostein. In this game Maxim Rostein plays with the black pieces and Giri with the white pieces. Giri opens with knight f3, knight f6 by Rostein, c4, b6, d4, bishop b7, g3, g6 and g2 to counterattack the bishop of opponent. Bishop g7, castle by white and castle by black. We have d5 and uh, e6. This is a typical idea to open up uh, the diagonal of the light square bishop because here with this move, with this pushing move, white closes the diagonal of the strong bishop of black. So here black has to react and could try to open up again. So this is a, a good move. E6, typical move. Knight uh, C3, controlling D5 square, and E capture for D5, C capture for D5, and Rook E8. Rook E1, C6, and E4. D6, and Bishop f4 putting pressure here on d6 pawn we have c for d5 e for d5 and now rook capture for e1 check queen capture for e1 and knight a6 this knight can come here on b4 before on on c5 knight uh, d4 queen uh, d7 and rook d1 by Giri. We have knight c7 and now you have to defend this pawn so knight c2. In this way knight, rook and bishop defend this pawn that he attacked three times so it's completely fine. Rook uh, c8 and now queen e2 we have knight uh, h5 attacking this bishop and now the begins because here giri see the something of incredible and uh, makes an incredible move bishop g5 leaving uh, an advantage, an advantage for black but we could see in the end uh, that is not a real advantage because here black capture the knight b for c3 and now knight b5 attacking this pawn you can defend this pawn if you push there is this double attack for the queen and the rook so here normally uh, this bishop on g7 or on g2 is never changed for 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 a knight of the opponent but here rosten decide to do it because uh, he want to gain a pawn so could be a nice idea Entering the final game with the, with the pawn more, so could be a nice idea. But when you leave this bishop for a knight, for example, like in the game, this pawn on the white structure 
leave the dark square bishop really weak so f6 uh, g7 h6 uh, can be controlled by this strong bishop of the opponent so and this is what happens in this game after rook e1 here we have this capture of this pawn and the queen is attacked so queen d2 and now bishop capture for d5 bishop capture for d5 knight capture for d5 and queen capture for d5 and rook capture for c2 so we have this position with four pawns for G giri and six pawn for rostein so why giri has done it why bishop g5 move that i told you before was so incredible you can see all the sequence we are only in 90 moves and this game and in 43 moves so incredible the vision of giri the chess vision of giri is so strong player because here he decide to to enter in a final game with two pawn less and two pawn less it's really a lot so we can see the continuation together and why this is so so a beautiful game we have rook e7 attack the queen if here uh, queens move this is completely lost position because she are followed queen for f7 check and queen for a for h7 checkmate so you have to do something and the queen is attack so you have to find the right move here the best move here is uh, rook c1 check you can't uh, here capture with the bishop because if you capture with the bishop the queen captures the rook and uh, you lost because uh, white lost because black has two pawn more so this is a problem here you have to play king g2 giri plays this plays king, king g2 and now queen c6 ah. queen c6 is so strong because this move pins uh, the the queens the queen queen can capture on f7 because it's blocked by other queen it's pinned by other queen so here we have queen for c6 rook for c6 and rook for a7 giri gains another pawn but this is a problem because in this endgame this knight can be activated you can activate this knight because if you try to to to, to bring the knight here you lose completely because there is rook a8 and uh, you have to put the knight here and you lost the knight so you can't activate the knight we have uh, king g7 the idea is bring the knight uh, then on uh, f6 this idea on g of king g7 is to defend this knight bishop e3 by giri and knight f6 now on the next move the knight will free but not Giri doesn't allow this bishop d4 and with this move Giri made an immortal pin game because this bishop continue to pin the knight you can see with me b5 by black rook a5 and rook uh, c4 attacking this bishop if this bishop leaves this strong diagonal knights can move and uh, 
this is bad obviously for white so bishop a1 continue to pin the knight and rook c1 again attacks the bishop but bishop b2 attacking the rook and continue to pin the knight and uh, rook c5 you can't play move like this because there is rook b5 with the capture of a pawn and with the defense of this bishop so rook c5 but now in this position black is completely lost you can find here the right move we have this beautiful move a4 a4 wins here we have capture of the pawn and now rook capture for c5 pawn capture for c5 d capture for c5 and in this position black can move nothing you can push the pawn you can do nothing this knight is pin here he plays f4 this is a really important move you have to play f4 or h4 with f4 black here can play this move to one pin the knight the idea of this move is uh, when bishop move is play this as uh, and up pin the knight but with a4 or or h4 you control g5 square so you can play this move if you try to push here with the idea on a6 with the idea to push again of g5 you can play this and now this push is not possible because here you capture 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 and you lose the knight so so after f4 there is no way to to move nothing here black tries the last idea and plays a3 but now bishop a1 and this bishop remain on this strong diagonal h6 by black and h4 by white you can't capture here if you capture black moves the knight you have not to capture So after h4, here there is no possibility to win. You can see why this game is so beautiful. Because to leave this pawn, you have to see everything that comes after this position. So here we have this beautiful sequence you can see after this pushing You, you can't move this pawn because uh, here black continue to, to move the bishop and he lost everything and uh, black has no chance I hope this video enjoy you this uh, game is uh, a really mortal pin where this bishop continue to 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 pin this knight so this is really really beautiful i hope this video enjoy you uh, thank you for watching my video subscribe uh, i would really appreciate it and uh, thank you very much see you soon bye